As the Malian government, under transitional president Colonel Asimi Goita works towards energy sovereignty, amidst the current energy crises that the citizens have been witnessing, which are mainly characterized by frequent and weeks-long power outages, it has embarked on tapping into its immense solar resource to provide power for its people. We say this because, in less than a week, the head of state has launched two mega solar power plants within the country, with the target being more of the same being installed in the coming months. On the Friday of May 24, the head of state launched the Sanankoroba solar power plant, courtesy of a partnership between Mali and a Russian company called Novawind, and whose energy capacity will be 200 megawatts once operational. And while addressing the press on that Friday, Colonel Asimi Goita appreciated the people of Mali for persevering with his administration and showing resilience as he works on materializing the project. And I would also like to salute the resilience and the spirit of the Malian people who have made enormous sacrifices, and I would like to reassure them that all the sacrifices made constitute the basis of our determination and our commitment to the Malian people. Then four days later, that's on the Tuesday of May 28, the transitional president launched another plant called the Safo Solar Power Plant, whose energy capacity will be 100 megawatts. This second project was courtesy of a partnership between Mali and China, and during the launch, this is what the Chinese ambassador to Mali had to say. It is with great honor that I participate this morning in the ceremony to launch the construction of the new solar power plant here in Safo. I have just executed the initiative of this solar energy project, which will serve the people well and fight against the energy crisis in Mali. I sincerely hope that this project will be carried out successfully. Under the supreme patronage of state leaders and with joint efforts of our party. The fraternal partnership between our two countries continues to strengthen, and the areas of cooperation continue to expand. Mutual political trust is the foundation of Sino Malian relations. China and Mali have always supported each other on issues of major mutual interest, particularly with regard to sovereignty, territorial integrity and the right of the people to choose their own path of development. The Chinese motherland highly appreciates the Malian government's constant support for China's efforts to safeguard China's sovereignty and national unity, reiterating its adherence to the One China principle. Friendly, if not mutual China-Malian cooperation dates back more than 60 years and has borne abundant fruits. With projects such as the Third Bridge in Bamako, the CICB, the Mali Hospital, the Guina Hydroelectric Plant, the Kapala University Campus, the electrification of villages by solar energy, without forgetting the Chinese doctors, who are well welcomed and much soothed by the Malian population since their arrival in Mali more than 50 years ago. In terms of food, the Agricultural Technical Assistance Project in Mali, executed by Chinese agricultural experts was a great success. Last Saturday, together with the Minister of Agriculture, we witnessed the harvest and production measures of high-yield rice at the experimental field in the rural commune of Bergiba. The rice yield reaches 9 tons per hectare. This result is very satisfying and very encouraging. I am convinced that with the popularization of this African technology, 
It will contribute to effectively combating the food crisis in Mali. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, today, the launch of the construction of the Safo solar power plant provides further proof of solidarity and cooperation between China and Mali. Mali is very rich in solar energy resources, and China has advanced solar technology and production capacity. This solar power plant will be a crucial step in meeting Mali's energy challenges. I would like to take this opportunity to pay all my respects to the three principles of Malian diplomacy initiated by His Excellency Colonel Asimi Goita, President of the Transition and Head of State. These three principles have points in common with the five principles of peaceful coexistence, of Chinese foreign policy and the people-centered concept of modernization with Chinese characteristics. In this convergence and policy in our two countries, the substantive cooperation could be further strengthened. On the path of independent development and improvement of people's well-being, the Chinese people always stand alongside the Malian people. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, this fall, the next conference of the Forum on African Cooperation will be held in China. If they are in progress, the Chinese and African leaders will meet in Beijing to jointly consider the development of cooperation in the future, to exchange in depth and breadth views on governance experiences. I am convinced that through this summit, China and Africa will shine, and will deepen the traditional cooperation and solidarity, and the community, so come and share, China-Africa summit will offer a new chapter. Long live friendship and cooperation, Sino-Malian cooperation, I thank you for your time.